on guys welcome back to another video today we have something pretty cool we're gonna be using the power of artificial intelligence to create some stylized new looks for our video footage so we're gonna be using Adobe Photoshop and we're gonna be using Adobe After Effects for this you don't have to use After Effects but you do need Adobe Photoshop to be able to pull this off After Effects or Premiere what we're gonna use after the fact just to kind of blend and add any finishing touches but the main way we're able to pull this off is by using the new feature within Adobe Premiere 2020 so I'm sure the majority of you have the creative cloud suite make sure you update photoshop to the newest version so that you have this feature it's going to give you all of these stylized neural filters like i was showing you at the beginning so you're able to copy the style of a specific painting or a specific look and paste it onto your video footage this has been talked about a lot for pictures but not a lot for video so let's get into the ins and outs i'll show you some customization we'll bring it into after effects and mix together some effects and we're going to create some cool stuff i also want to say that we recently dropped my new adobe premiere preset pack three and we also dropped 40 drag and drop animations which work with my adobe after effects window extension so if you want to pick those up link will be in the description i'm going to be giving away free copies of those to people who comment down below in this upload and the next few uploads so if you comment you have a chance to win all that for free without any further ado let's get right into this step-by-step -step tutorial to open your footage up straight into adobe photoshop i'm going to go to file open i found that you have better results when you use footage that doesn't have too much going on so maybe when you have a close-up of something or somebody's face those usually have the best results whenever you have so much going in the scene things can tend to get a bit muddled let me show you with this portrait here of this face if you guys see this box and it's saying create video timeline make sure you click that button so that you're seeing what I'm seeing here this video timeline that we can scrub through the setup for this is extremely easy this is gonna be a very quick video all you need to do is click your layer here on the right under video group one go up to the top left where it says filter and then we're gonna go and click neural filters the new thing that they added within this new updated version of adobe photoshop so click neural filters and again people have talked about using this for pictures but not so much for video so let's go into some of the ins and outs for setting it up you're going to have your main featured filters and then you're going to have your beta filters. So let's click beta filters for now and you can start installing some of these by clicking the little cloud here. It's a very quick install. JPEG artifacts removal, super zoom, colorize, depth aware haze. I'm going to show you some of these beta filters later. Specifically, I used colorize to color some black and white footage. Here's a little snippet of that. But first, let's go back to feature filters and we're going to work with style transfer because this is the main bread and butter of the effects, the things that I want to show you in this tutorial. We're going to turn this on we're going to click show more and you have all these different style transfer effects so the first thing you want to do down here where it says output you always want to change this to smart filter if you're working with video if you change it to smart filter now you can apply it directly to the video now every frame will have this effect applied next we can go ahead and select a look so i'll just select the first one here we'll let it load up for a little bit and then we're going to click ok and as you can see it applies the neural filter style onto this footage now here's some tips and tricks to help improve the look of this let's select this layer here we're going to click Control j to duplicate that and we're going to drag this layer out of video group one so just click and drag up now if you see this in your video timeline you can just drag this new duplicated layer over it should now be up over top and don't be worried if your computer is slowing down here and lagging a little bit if it is you guys can just hide these smart filters so that you can resize rearrange everything without having all the buffering so let's double click back on neural filters over here just double click there now that we created that duplicate we can see what's going on here on the left and we can change the neural filter which is very useful so we can click here we can click show more and we can just cycle through all of these different filters available until we find the best look the best style that we'd like for our footage of course it's going to be different no matter what depending on what you're inputting all your footage is going to look different unless you're using the exact same footage that i'm using here i'll leave a little link below this is all royalty free footage Another great thing, if we scroll through here, let's look at some of these settings. You have preserve color. If you only want the style of the portrait so that it looks like it was painted, but you don't want all the color effects, you can you can turn on preserve color and it's gonna keep the original color that's in your video. So pretty self-explanatory. Go ahead and create the style that you'd like. And now let's render this out, bring it back into Adobe After Effects and start customizing. All right, so I deleted all of the excess out of here. I just have my one layer with my neural filter applied. This is the one I like the best for this footage. Again, it's always going to be different but um if you're wondering which one this is it is the one all the way at the bottom right here you want to go to file you want to go to exports and you want to click render video let's go ahead and name this file select the folder where we want to save it and go ahead and click render 
Alright guys, so once your animation is finished rendering, this one took me about 7 minutes, I rendered it at animation high quality, so it should be a big file size, but that's actually pretty good. Now we're going to go into After Effects, again you can use Premiere, you can use any video editing software to customize the look of this, add anything on top of this. Alright, so in your video editing software, here's how you set this up, I'm going to create a new composition. So in my project bin in After Effects, just clicking this button here. Now let's go ahead and open up the original footage before I added the AI. So let's go to this folder where I had everything set up in this faces folder. This was the original footage I used. We're going to drag that into After Effects. And in fact, let's even make a composition that's the same dimensions as this footage. And now over top of this, let's drag in what we just exported, the AI version of it. So this is the file that we exported, we'll drag that in. Since we scaled this one up, let's just copy the transform. So just click this little arrow to open that up. You can actually just left click on this transform, control C, open this one up, select transform, control V. And it's gonna paste the exact same transformation settings. So they're both lined up. So if I click and hide the visibility here, they should both be exactly the same. And if we play that, here's what that's looking like. So pretty cool, but we can do a little bit more. Now that we have these lined up within our video editing software, whatever you may be using, in After Effects, you can click this toggle switches and modes button to show your blending mode. If we use this blending mode, we can change it around to get different blends, different looks. You can also place different effects onto here. So let's go to my effects and presets, search for a turbulent displace effect and place it on there. And I'll even do a little keyframe because you see this is starting all distorted. Let's put that at zero keyframe. So click this little stopwatch animation for your amount drag to the very end and we'll just crank this up. Now we can use those blending modes that I just talked about to create this different sort of effect. So by doing this, you can create some very interesting animations. Here's what that looks like when it's all rendered, just kind of distorts the face. This is a music video I worked on. Here's what the footage looked like normally. Here's the normal sequence with the neural filters added over using that same technique I just showed you. I just dragged them in. You'll see I changed this one to soft light, changed this one to vivid light in my blending modes here. If you select that, you'll see in my effect controls in the top left, same exact thing. I placed a little turbulent displace over top and I was able to get this sort of bending light kind of nice vibrant look with this effect so pretty interesting i like how that one turned out the neural filter i used for this since there was a lot going on in the scene ended up using this neural filter right here for that music video footage so one of the more subtle ones and it really turned out pretty good so again customize it i'm not going to go into all the different ways you can customize just look through my channel maybe you want to try some of those new time bending plugins that you can get for free that we talked about in my last tutorial upload maybe you want to try out some of the different glitch plugins we talked about on the channel here's just one example of the look i was able to create just applying a glitch plugin onto there and changing it to hard lights here's another example using the displacer pro plugin we've also talked about on the channel recently i also changed it to overlay so again you can make so many different things just look through my channel experiment but use some of these ai styles to give you these cool beginning looks and then combine them in with a lot of the stuff we've been talking about so a quick little tutorial on applying that displacer plugin getting the looks that you saw at the beginning of the video again this is a free plugin you can go in the description and download it once you've downloaded it place it on whichever footage you want to melt either the top the ai or the normal in your effect controls start at the beginning of the timeline go ahead and just keyframe all of these just by clicking and dragging down on the stopwatches drag to where you want the animation to end and then just start changing whatever value you want. If you want it to go left and right, use the translate X, translate Y up and down. You can even rotate it and you can scale it up and down as well. You guys can also open up this chromatic aberration and add some of that in so you can get some very colorful results. Let me scroll up so it wipes off her face. Here's the result that we got. Of course, keep in mind, you can change the channel and get very different results. So there's saturation. Here's what hue looks like. Just by messing around with the edge behavior and anti-aliasing options for Displacer Pro, you can go from having this wash off of her face to repeat onto the face. Let's put it on repeat and you'll see how it just keeps kind of washing down. You can put on this anti-aliasing four times. If you put it on edge repeat, you're gonna get these kind of pixel streaks coming down, which is always really interesting to see. Even open this up here and you'll see map softness. So if you don't really like all of these rough pixels, bump up the softness and you'll see you can even have it kind of look like liquid. So invert the map. So now it looks like it's literally melting off of her face. All right, guys. And just to illustrate that you don't need After Effects to be able to customize these, you just need Photoshop. You can use any video editing software. I'm going to use Adobe Premiere now. I'm going to apply some of my transitions from my preset pack three that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. So 
way to kind of promote that as well, show you some of the cool stuff you can make with this. I have this clip here, and then I have this little matrix render, which I just added. That's adding the matrix neural filter. So right click this and scale this to frame size. And now let's bring in our matrix render, right click and scale it to frame size. I'm gonna position my cursor in between these two frames, and then I'm just going to hold down shift and using my arrow keys, I'm just gonna make some little cuts. I'm gonna select the middle, right click and nest them together. And then I'm just going to apply my transition effects. Here's some other little distortion transitions. Other than that, guys, again, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment what you want to see next. As always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting. And I'll see you guys in the next one.